Sorry to say it, Taco Bell, but move over because my next guest, well, he's got a new favorite fast food pick. Take a look. Happy, happy birthday, Grimace. Surprise! Since he was born, Grimace has always had a birthday. And since he's had a birthday, he's always had it at McDonald's. <laughs> All right, I want to bring in Kingsview Wealth Management CIO Scott Martin. All right, so you go, you go with the what was that Grimace? They brought Grimace back, the Hamburglar back. I think that's why you're going with it. That 70s nostalgia feel. You, you, you know, I think that you didn't even look at any spreadsheets, you didn't look at the income statements, anything. You were strictly yes. with the fact that they brought the old characters back. Characters, Charles. My old memories, man. I mean, reinvention of the old uh, school stuff. And also Grimace. We got a little bit of purple on today. Apparently, it's Grimace's birthday in June at some point. My birthday, by the way, if anybody was counting, was on Wednesday. So maybe I have that in common with them. But also, Charles, just the fact, too, that McDonald's came back to some pretty good valuations as far as at least looking at the chart as well, as far as some of that oversold nature that we saw in McDonald's earlier this week. And therefore, we're seeing a nice pop in the stock and glad we own it. Um, anything else in that space that you like? Uh, it, it, uh, you know, it's interesting because it, this is one of these areas they say uh, could be affected by today's student loan uh, ruling, uh, where the, the places like Chipotle, right? That's sort of an extravagance, uh, particularly if now you have to pay some of your bills. I mean, should McDonald's benefit from that as well? I believe they will when the consumer trades down, Charles. I mean, we made a joke about it before the break there about how much $28 gets you at Taco Bell and now McDonald's. I mean, how much does $28 get you at Chipotle? My goodness, is that place expensive? You get a bite or two of a burrito and then they send you home. But the reality is this. A lot of these fast food restaurants, at least these, say, casual high-end fast foods, are probably still going to do okay. But I do look for that trade down, my friend, and say McDonald's. And also Domino's Pizza is another one, too, to keep an eye on here as it's pulled back and as it's rallied again. Yeah, DPZ, one of the best performing stocks in the last 10 years. It is a monster. When that thing gets going, it gets going. So I thought about and you this week. Good. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, because I'm a New York pizza guy. At least I am until they outlaw them, but don't get me started on that. Um, I thought about you with this stress test because you kind of waded into the financials after the SVB debacle. Um, no one failed, but it, I haven't seen a spark per se. Are you still liking some of these financial names? We are, Charles. We're looking at, say, like uh, Fifth Third. We're still looking at Comerica. We bought the KBE, which is the ETF of all the regional banks, if you just don't want to wade into one or two. And you're right. It, it's been a delayed reaction so far, a delayed bounce. But we're starting to get it. It's slow but sure, and I think it's one that's going to come back pretty strong here, especially as the Fed steps out. But don't forget, the bank situation has only gotten better behind the scenes. It maybe hasn't gotten better with regards to the headlines. But that's when, as an investor, to your point, you have to wade in and start dollar cost averaging here, which we've done on days when the banks pull back. All right. All right, Scott, I tell you what, all that fast food, you still look great, my man. Have a great weekend and a hey, great fourth. Hang in there. See you, buddy. <laughs> all right. Bye.